So you've probably seen the signs in the hospital when you go inside, particularly the emergency room or an ICU. It says, turn off your cell phone. Well, what's it all about? I mean, what could a cell phone do if it was turned on in an emergency room or somewhere where there were some sensitive equipment around? Our Sanjay Gupta has been looking into this. A new study shows just exactly what it is. What did it find? Well, it was very interesting. A study out of Denmark. And first of all, I think a lot of people do use their cell phones despite those signs. Do you? Uh, you know, I've used it in the hospital every now and then, my BlackBerry or something like that. Uh, not, not in certain areas, but as you mentioned, the ICU, for example. But a lot of people do, and I think that they, they weren't sure that there was actually an effect here. Uh, but it turns out there is. A new study out of Denmark actually looking specifically at this problem, looking at whether or not there I am sort of walking through the hospital. Not on my cell phone, by the way, I'll add. Uh, well, in your look, pocket. In my pocket. Looking through Denmark at, at various hospitals, trying to figure out if these cell phones have an impact on vital machinery. Talking about ventilators, feeding tubes, things like that. And they find that even if you have your cell phone just on, not even talking on it, but you just have it on, it can cause significant malfunctions with the equipment, possibly life-threatening malfunctions, at least according to the study. So what type of malfunctions? <laughs> We've heard stories that it can turn off a pacemaker, for example. It can, it can interfere with a pacemaker. What they said specifically is that it stops the reading of the pacemaker back to the EKG machine. Most concerning, it actually turned the mechanical ventilator off and someone had to go turn it back on, and it can also turn feeding tubes, so people who have feeding tube but pumps. Minute, isn't a ventilator something with a hard switch on it? Yeah, you'd think. I mean, I'm not sure what the signal is, if somehow it's interfering with the signal somewhere, but it actually sent a signal to the mechanical ventilator and turned it off. And basically what they did was they just held these phones within three feet away. They weren't even talking on them, just holding them on and, and seeing what kind of electromagnetic interference it was causing. Is there any particular model of phone that, that is worse than others? I know that if, if if I have my cell phone, and this isn't my cell phone, but if I have my cell phone next to, say, my computer speakers, every once in a while I hear did it, did it, did it, did it, as it checks in with the network. But if I have my BlackBerry, oh my God, it's like a symphony. Exactly. And we ask the same, the same question. GPRS, if you see that on your phone, a type of signal, that is the most problematic. Uh, one way to know is if, you're, if your phone or your device can actually connect to the internet those, uh, that, or Wi-Fi, those seem to be the most problematic. This, this is a real problem. Uh, the older phones, and this is interesting, John, there was a study out of the Mayo Clinic a few months ago that said just these types of phones that are older don't have that type of capability. <laughs> are not as bad. In fact, the Mayo Clinic allows their doctors and nurses to use their phones in most parts of the hospital.